Summer is here. And seeing as most of us were locked down last summer because of the pandemic, this one is bound to be pretty epic. So bust out your swimsuits and put on some sunscreen because summer 2021 is looking like one for the history books. It's also one of the most popular times of the year to travel, but not many travelers know how to choose their destination wisely. A lot of folks looking to enjoy a little fun in the sun assume vacationing in any warm or popular destination is the way to go. But the climate of some regions of the world can be downright dreadful in these hot, humid months. With temperatures far exceeding 100 degrees Fahrenheit, some destinations can be downright hazardous to your health. Then there's the fact that some spots are just so overrun with rude, obnoxious, and entitled tourists, they become almost impossible for travelers to appreciate at all. While some of these destinations are phenomenal vacation spots other times of the year, you should think twice before booking a trip to any of these places in the summer. The Bahamas While the Bahamas is a beautiful place to visit to escape the brisk winter months, it's less than ideal during the summertime. The humidity there can be quite extreme, and the average rainfall during the summer months is higher than at any other time of the year. It doesn't matter if you choose to indulge in one of those fancy beachside resorts or if you prefer a quiet experience in a quaint local hotel. It's more than likely the majority of your vacation plans revolve around spending time in the great outdoors. But you should probably be warned that the mosquito situation there and of itself might be bad enough to ruin your poolside plans. And the Caribbean is known for being a hotspot of hurricane activity in the late summer months. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. And stick around to find out why you probably shouldn't be booking a flight to Paris anytime soon. Bogota, Colombia Tourists love Bogota for its delicious cuisine, its numerous art and music venues, and its upbeat eclectic culture. Tourism is one of its biggest moneymakers, but you might be happier choosing another time other than summer to visit. The clubs, restaurants, resorts, and theme parks are all packed all season long. So unless you really love standing in long lines with huge crowds of people, wait until the fall to visit this admittedly beautiful locale. Cancun, Mexico you might want to avoid this popular tourist destination in the springtime as well, seeing as it's a favorite spot for spring breakers and other party people. Cancun is one of those places that can get stupidly busy in the summer. The crowds never seem to die down and the temperatures continue to rise. Those who travel there to experience the city's vibrant nightlife might find themselves a bit overwhelmed and claustrophobic, while those who visit for the beaches might just return home with one of the worst sunburns of their life. Sea temperatures are at their peak in August, so if you get hot, the ocean will do very little in terms of keeping you cool. Dubai, United Arab Emirates Dubai is one of the most popular tourist destinations on the planet, but it can also get excruciatingly hot. Most people won't be able to take the heat as daytime temps routinely surge over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Unless you're content spending the majority of your trip indoors in climate-controlled environments, you might want to consider delaying your trip until summer is over. The French Riviera This highbrow location on the southern coastline of France has been a preferred spot for affluent Europeans to visit for hundreds of years. But if you're looking to avoid large crowds and legions of obnoxious tourists, you might want to visit during a less popular season. This place is especially busy during August. It seems like virtually everyone in Europe flocks there at once. And if you do go there during the summertime, the resort prices and excessively long lines will likely be more than enough to make you regret your decision. Grand Canyon, Arizona If you have your heart set on visiting the Grand Canyon, you're probably the kind of person who enjoys hiking and exploring beautiful terrain. A lot of people describe this majestic natural wonder as being almost unreal but you might start hallucinating and seeing things that are unreal if you spend too much time in the brutal summer heat there. Daytime temperatures regularly exceed 120 degrees Fahrenheit, but that shouldn't be surprising seeing as it's located smack dab in the middle of the Sonoran Desert. India For one thing, you might want to avoid India right now, seeing as they're still being hit really hard by COVID. But even if that wasn't the case, India's climate is less than hospitable during the summer months. But besides the heat, summer's also the monsoon season. That extends all the way through September, so it might be a good idea to postpone your travel plans until a month that you wouldn't be facing a potential natural disaster. Morocco There are plenty of cities and natural attractions to visit in Morocco, but you probably don't want to travel there in the summer. The weather can be horrendous. The temperature lingers in the hundreds almost every day, so unless you enjoy being baked to a crisp, you'll likely spend a sizable chunk of your trip inside.
Once the temperatures cool off in the fall, however, destinations like Marrakesh, which hosts many outdoor street markets and palace lawns, or the rural areas surrounding the Atlas Mountains, can offer adventurous travelers quite a bit to explore. New York City New York is always a pretty congested city, but it gets especially crowded in the summer. Times Square transforms into a sun-doused madhouse, while Manhattan is overrun with people crowding the sidewalk. Children can be found in droves roaming the subway system because of city summer camps, and all the restaurants worth checking out tend to be booked well in advance. And then there's the matter of pollution. The air quality in the city is especially poor in the warmer months. Paris, France Paris is always hyped up as the super romantic travel destination, which is a questionable assertion in the first place, but a summer trip there especially won't do much to spice up your love life. During the more mild summer months, Paris is swarming with tourists. Lines for everything are excessively long, hotel and resort prices are through the roof, and flights are getting harder to come by. You'd be better off visiting this city in another season so you can have a bit more freedom to navigate its quaint streets without having to fight the crowd. Rome, Italy There are quite a few reasons to avoid this popular city in the summertime. The first is the weather. You might not expect it, but Rome gets pretty hot during the summer months. If you pay a visit to the Colosseum, you'll be wishing it was enclosed under a giant air-conditioned dome. Interestingly, a lot of Italians actually leave Rome during the summertime to flee the heat themselves. Because of that, a lot of local businesses close up shop to give families a much-needed summer break. Sevilla, Spain Sevilla, the capital city of Andalusia, is a breathtakingly beautiful cultural hub featuring gorgeous architecture and cuisine that's out of this world. But if you're the kind of person who enjoys a bit of urban exploration, you won't want to visit this destination during the excessively hot summer months. Temperatures here regularly rise above 100 degrees. South Africa Whether you're intending on visiting scenic Cape Town or just trying some local culinary delicacies like biltong or malva pudding, South Africa can be an incredible place to plan an adventurous vacation. But considering its location deep in the heart of the Southern Hemisphere, the summer months here can be pretty unbearable. Keep in mind that the comparably mild winter months actually coincide with the summer months in the Northern Hemisphere, so plan accordingly. South Florida Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and Key West are some of the best travel locations in Florida. But if you're planning a summer vacation, those are probably not the most ideal spots to check out. Sure, you might think the warm weather down there might be conducive for tanning, but you're probably not fully aware of just how hot it really gets. Not only do summer temps linger around 100 degrees Fahrenheit for most of the season, but the humidity levels often reach 100%. This makes for a pretty uncomfortable climate. The air is dense and sticky, and if you spend enough time outside, you might just feel like you're suffocating. Most South Floridians end up spending the majority of their time inside during the summertime, choosing to hide out in the A.C. until fall comes. Now it's time to hear from you. Would you rather spend your summer vacationing somewhere that's super hot or somewhere that's a bit on the chilly side? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.